Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Past T-Shop Skin. We are going to be checking out a quick seal that's actually available on the Hong Kong network right now. It is the summer seal, and it ends on the 23rd of August. Now, basically, by the timing of this, this should probably go up the day of the actual end of the seal. So, what you can do is actually join me as we take a quick look at the things that are worth buying right now. If you actually can get into the Hong Kong store and check it out. So let's go to prices low, add a filter, game type, full PS4 games. And see what full PS4 games are available in the slowest of prices. So yeah, at the top of the list we have Dishonored Definitive Edition at about $6. So that's, um, by, just to do a quick estimation on what the Hong Kong dollar is to the American dollar and then you can work out everything from there I suppose. But the Hong Kong dollar is literally divided by 10. 10, 10 Hong Kong dollars equals approximately $1. So. This is actually at about $6.20 for Dishonored, $9.30 for Super Dungeon Bros. So like that's what the process is, so we we'll work it from that. So the same thing with Wolfenstein The New Order. So a lot of these games actually have been on sale already for extensive amounts. So if you're on PS Plus on this, you get a really good deal on some particular games, while others are going to be obviously uh, not, not exactly... Not exactly a good deal, but we'll try and pick out, eke out the best ones from this. And some games I could personally recommend. Uh, things like River City Melee Battle Royal Special at $13 is a bit much, but is still a good game. So if you're looking to play something that actually had its kind of mentality, it's kind of fun, then you could actually get it for a reasonably cheap price if you want to go to Hong Kong. Now, I'd rather actually be playing a um, scrolling beam up with, this, uh, with the River City Melee kind of style, but uh, you don't get everything that you want in one game. Uh, let's see what else was. What was actually of major interest to me? Um, no, no, that's not a great price. Yes, Mars Edge Catalyst for four dollars and eighty three cents. The your your mileage may vary on how much you might enjoy the Mars Edge Catalyst game. I enjoyed the hell out of the beta. I thought the game itself over it was overly long for the experience I got from the beta. I enjoyed, but then whenever I went to play the full game, it wasn't a. Um, a totally enjoyable experience. It uh, felt like a dragon for fair amounts, but the Mirror's Edge Catalyst is a great reboot of the Mirror's Edge series, even though uh, there's a lot of issues with the way they had done so. Titanfall 2 Standard Edition. This is actually a seal item that isn't a that isn't a PS Plus seal item. So for fifty dollars, fifty percent off, ten ten dollars fifty cents for a copy of Titanfall 2, which I which I really want to play the single player campaign of, but I haven't played through myself except for the trial version that's available as a demo. Uh, let's see what else is actually majorly in here. Um, skipping over things like Mighty Number no. Nine, which are obviously going to be a bit of wet garbage. Uh, let's see, uh, Dead or Five, Dead or Life Five, Last Round, Good Fighter Game. Uh, yes, Wasteland Two, seven dollars seventy-five cents for a copy of Wasteland Two. Uh, it has been this price or lower in other sales on the US accounts and on the um, Hong Kong, not on the Hong Kong account, on the European account as well. But uh, at a price as it is now, Wasteland 2 is still, a director's cut is well worth it at $7.75. Uh, we, uh, one of the things that are actually of interest in this is that the uh, Yakuza series in Chinese and Japanese are available in the sale. Now, I wouldn't recommend them in a foreign language that you can't understand, but uh, the prices are pretty good, so I'm kind of keeping an eye out to see if they do something like this again in the future with the English editions. Uh, Brothers Booth Chrono Phantasm Extend is a very cheap and boardable game. I think it's for uh, 4 or $5.00. But um, obviously, I already own it. I picked it up from one of the uh, PS Plus months a fair amount of time ago, so you can't really see the price there on screen. But it's about five bucks, four dollars eighty, five twenty. I think it actually is. Uh, what else is of import in here? Uh, no Japanese versions. Japanese versions. Um, yeah, the only problem is whenever they actually do, whenever you go to the Hong Kong stores, you do find sometimes they will just do the Japanese and Chinese versions in the seal and leave the English ones out, knowing rightly people are coming over and actually buying the game and trying to get a better deal on them. Um, yes, of course, Yakuza 6 is already available in Chinese version and Japanese version on the store at the moment and is discounted to $37. We won't even get to play the game in English for another, I think it's four months, five months until it's actually released and then they've got the collector's edition and all that. But um, yeah, you can play Yakuza 6 right now if you're willing to play it in different languages. Uh, that was the price is going up and up. That was actually the best deals I could remember from it. We'll just jump across from the PS4 full games to the PSN games because it'll list the ones that were digital only available. Uh, there we go. 
and sort them by the lowest prices. Now, one of the things you'll find on the Hong Kong store is actually tend to have, uh, this is actually more so for the PS3 version, they have a lot more uh, emulated games from different companies that are available in their arcade classics and arcade series. Even also include a lot of really good PS1 games that were actually really recently available. I'm gonna jump into it probably myself later on today and see if there's anything on the PS3 for PS1 games I can pick up like a, I was looking to buy Xenogears and Chrono Trigger and a couple other like classic PS1 games for dirt dirt cheap, like about two, three bucks for each one of them. Uh, did he, was there anything actually I remember looking? Oh, <laughs> the timing is everything because the Hong Kong store is literally updating right now. Uh, there's a possibility that there's going to be a new demo that I might talk about in the next video if this is the case. But uh, literally the store just refreshed itself because changes are happening. Yeah, uh, game type, PSN games, low high. Nothing being added to this list, obviously. But uh, let's see, what was there? Is there anything? Crypt of the Necrodancer, yes, for $6.96. Crypt of the Necrodancer is a great game, really, really fun. If you've never seen it, it's a rhythm based, rogue like dungeon crawler. Um, <laughs> if you have never seen this gameplay, I'm pretty sure, I think I covered it a few months ago. There should be a video of me playing it on the channel if you want to go back, or I might throw a wee, um, clickable link up there in the corner for you guys to check out if you want to see it. Uh, uh, Ender of Fire may look really appealing at $2.32. But uh, I didn't enjoy that game at all. I didn't even do a video for it in the end up. But um, I might throw one in the future just so you guys can see. Battle Wars Chronos, a top top down strategy uh, planner and attack game, building the city and then attacking. Uh, Three dollars ten cents. Personally, don't recommend it either. Just because I don't, I'm not. I don't think the style works for control pads unless you really, really nail it. I don't think Chronos actually did. Uh, Heart and Slash didn't really enjoy it either. Felt very stiff for the combat, but I love the style of the game. So that wasn't a really fair description of it to me, but it ended up, it, just, it just didn't it didn't appeal to me enough to actually make me want to go back and play it more than like just doing the basic tutorial. Uh, End Times Vermintide, uh, obviously getting a decent discount of 50% off, but uh, still around about the $15 mark. And I can't see anything else that would, I would immediately throw, recommend to people on the rest of that list. So yeah, this has actually just been a quick look at the um, PSN seals, the... Uh, I'll just remove this filter here and release by new to highest. The this has actually been a look at the Hong Kong seals on the Hong Kong seals on the PSN. That's actually only available for another twenty four hours. So it'll be ended on the twenty third. Obviously, I should have probably done this a little bit earlier on for you guys to take a look at. But at least now you can actually jump in, grab anything that actually really caught your attention while I was going through this. Uh, the one thing, so the last thing I'll probably point out is that Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball Three is available uh, with its VR headset add-on as a purchase deal and uh, it's one of the few games that are actually you can only buy on the Hong Kong service because it's not ever going to get released in Europe or on the American store. Uh, the rest of these otherwise are reasonably good deals. I got things like Dreamfall Chapters. I actually I want to buy that for myself because I was a big fan of the original Dreamfall games. In fact, I played the previous ones before Microsoft pulled it. I think they pulled the Dreamfall game off of their Xbox 360 service due to licensing deals. Um, yeah, there's not much else I could actually think of because there's a lot of DLC and stuff listed in there. If you enjoyed going through a quick opinion on some of the items that are available in the Hong Kong PSN Summer Sale, I should have probably done this about uh, weeks ago before uh, the time was starting to run out, but it's just a bunch of other games I had to actually get cleared out and a lot of stuff that was going on this summer. thought I would actually make sure to give you guys a shout at the last minute before you miss out on any deals you might have seen. So, of course, uh, if you enjoyed getting this word from me and you want to know more about games that are available on the Asian markets on PlayStation Network and you want to get kind of top tips on things that are available quickly before they actually get available in the EU, EU or the United States or even just stuff that isn't completely unavailable in those stores, then make sure to hit the subscribe button up there in the corner. And if you don't do the whole subscribe thing, completely understand, just memorize the name, pastiche of skin. All you have to do is know pastiche of skin. Any variation of pastiche, it seems to be a lot of people think that's pistachio or past itch and of skin. And you'll be able to find me. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And if you're watching this on YouTube, There'll be a button up there, there'll be a button here, there'll be a playlist, a button over the far side which will be recent videos, and a button down here which will be a video for you! Based on the user analytics and the things you like to do on YouTube, it will actually pick a video out of my end that you will enjoy, and I highly recommend you click that one and check it out. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next fire sale. Bye!